Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible. Right. I'm irresponsible, oh. yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer yeah. the obstacle. Yeah. Let's to go. the top, here I go, think I'm chosen. Yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken. I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion. So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. Yeah, ready to go, man. Lock and load. Lock and load. That's right. I swear to God that I could drop you, bro. Yeah, I got a shot. It is a new face on the Women's Pro Wrestling Network being showcased. It is the Dream Girl, Ellie. Hello, folks. This is your host and commentator, Mr. Green. We are happy to see the Dream Girl for the first time live on our channel. We want to thank Heritage Championship Wrestling for allowing uh, this to take place. I, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Dream Girl Ellie just basically uh, verbally forced the referee to get down on her knees and open up the ropes. I'm not... I'm a, I'm a little surprised about that. And I had the opportunity to speak to the Dream Girl uh, earlier. And she came off as such a pleasant young lady. Perhaps her demeanor in the ring is uh, a little different. And of course, she was uh, kind of to herself a very business. But uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Needless to say, I was aware of the uh, of the lineup here, and what we have, for all intents and purposes, is a showcase between two talents, courtesy of Heritage Championship Wrestling. There will be an intergender match between uh, the Dream Girl and I believe this young man's name, the Killer Kid. He steps into the ring. Nice roll through there. This match taking place in the Landmark Arena, most notably uh, the O. Place the AJ Styles uh, made famous. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but that Dringer Ellie just attacked uh, the killer before the bell even rung and just attacked him to the back of the head. And you hear her screaming, Get up! And he never even got a chance to kind of get himself going. Charged in for Cole's line, but he got caught. Worked around into a, a face plan of sorts. We'll call that for this particular purpose the Dream Girl Driver. But uh, it was not to be the thing that she used to finish this off. We just heard her say that she doesn't hear the fans' cheers. Whatever it is that she's uh, came out to, she does not like this audience, perhaps. A little bit surprising. Second suplex after the roll through. Goes up for the cover. Two and again picks him up. You see the smile on her face. Too easy. That's just a hard shot right to the uh, shoulder blades. Pace versus to the turnbuckles. Now use her foot as point to choke the choke her opponent. Now she's just insulting everybody. Somebody can count in Georgia. And again, a choke on the second ropes. And I'm not sure if the Dream Girl is really all that concerned with uh, disqualification. She's just literally gotten up into the referee's face. Oh! Big chop being brought down across the chest. Uh, killer Kid. Another one. A big shot. And back over to the corner. That's the third one. Fourth. Okay, she just going to town here. And the referee's trying to get out of the corner. Technically, despite all her abuse, 
It's not anything illegal. Snap there. Puts the kid out into the center of the ring. Gets some momentum. And a knee shot right to the side of the head. That may have knocked her opponent out. The referee is hesitant to go down. And I can see why. She just counted a useless two count. When <laughs> Ellie just picked it back up again. Goes for a clothesline duck underneath. And she comes back off. And rebounding clothesline to the back of the head. And again, Dream Girl Ellie picks him up off of the mat. Folks out there watching this is just quite simply a showcase for Ellie right here. Just changes the, the direction of his mask. And Lariat takes him down too. And finally, mercifully, this is over. Clearly, she, she had uh, no time to waste. Well, actually, I take that back. She had plenty of time to waste. But she had no sympathy for her opponent, and she doesn't now look like she's taking the mask. Uh -oh, maybe she thought better, but she's unlacing the mask. Perhaps she's not going to. And Saradox has come to the ring. And I don't know what this is about. Saradox has come out, and now she's firing off chops right to the chest. And perhaps Dream Girl. Oh. Standing Uranagi and now she's kicking him out, screaming, get out of my ring. I was gonna say perhaps it's a uh, good idea that this young man came out with a mask so he could save himself the humiliation of uh, of the beating that he has just taken, much less the beating that he's just taken from both of them. Saradox didn't have anything to do with the match. And I guess Ellie is now making claim on it being her ring. Saradox looking over on the fans. Dream girl Ellie walking back and forth like a caged animal. Like she was ready to pounce on somebody else. Sarah. Just asked for the microphone, and she's got the microphone now, so let's see what she has to say. I have a She said if he didn't get the gist of it is that she has unfinished business with Crystal Rose. I mean, these two had a pretty hardcore match not all that long ago. Which uh, Rose, and I believe, came out correct on top. And now, Sarah Knox is talking about that. They've got a match upcoming titled uh, A Match of Inconceivable Horrors. Not sure what exactly that would entail. Dream girl, she's still uh, walking around like she's looking for prey. And now we got Rose and uh, Saradox face to face again. And Dream girl just parts the sea, so to speak. And now she's got the microphone. seems to be laying out the, the terms of their match. And the last thing I just heard is that the steel cage and not the weapons is a bed of nails. And even Saradox looked like she had a little bit of pause behind hearing that.
hell is over that jaw saying that she too chicken accepted. And Ellie immediately bails out of the ring. <laughs> Leaving Saradox in a, in a lurch there. And she's out. She's gone. And now Saradox is stuck with the match. And you can see her walking off. She's saying pan of nails. She was not expecting that. I don't think either one of them, Saradox or Ellie, was expecting Crystal Rose to actually say yes to that. I mean, a steel cage, weapons, and all of that is bad enough, but a bed of nails? It may just be a match of inconceivable horror. Weapons are around the ring. Who cares? And a bed of nails, okay? It's not that big of Stop a deal. Stop saying bed of nails so nonchalantly. It's I'm nonchalant cool with the cage. for me. I'm cool. I'm not nonchalant. You know what? This isn't my problem. You have fun. Are you? What 